got to get to what is a controversial decree from the federal government. Schools are now being told to let students decide which bathroom they want to use. It's the latest development in the transgender bathroom debate. Lauren Padella is working this story this morning. Lauren, that decree is going out to schools today. Yeah, we're talking about a letter, Rhonda and Jason, that's going to be sent to all public school districts here in Michigan and across the country from the Department of Education, basically saying here are things that you can do as a school district to ensure that your students are not discriminated against when it comes to bathroom use. The bathroom bill debate became supercharged in North Carolina. It remains true that discrimination unfortunately finds its way into all walks of life. You can still be legally fired for who you are or who you love in North Carolina. And today, the Obama administration is sending a message to all public schools across the country. They now must allow transgender students to use bathrooms and locker rooms that match their gender identity. For one local mom whose son has felt socially isolated, she thinks the change is timely. In this day and age, they need to open their eyes and accept change. Leaders at the Department of Education and Justice say public schools are obligated to treat their transgender students in a way that matches their gender identity, even if their documents indicate a different sex. Here at home, Cecil and Alex are president and vice president of Ferndale High's Gay Straight Alliance and see the importance of official support from your school. I know our community is already really accepting, so it wasn't like too much of like a crazy step, but it does. It is really exciting to know that it would be like a state thing. And this is really something that's going to have a lot of people talking from students to parents to people that work in schools. But let's break this down a little bit further. Technically, this decree from the Obama administration doesn't come with any legal ramifications. In other words, if the school doesn't uh, impose these new rules in this letter, they won't face any legal issues. But if they don't comply, then they may lose federal funding. Reporting live this morning, Lauren Podell, Local 4 News Today. All right, Lauren, thank you. Well, we've been asking you on social media what you think about all of this, and we have a variety of responses this morning. Let's get to Nina. And what she says is that I am not against transgender people, but a rather simple fix to this problem, in her opinion, is to have a third type of bathroom for them to use so that everyone that feels threatened no longer needs to worry. And then let's get to Brian's comment, our Facebook friend. He says gender is determined by DNA, not by what you think you are. This issue is politically driven, in his opinion, the left grasping for every vote it can. And finally, let's take a look at Deb's comment. She says I have no issues sharing a bathroom with anybody. It's called coexisting in her opinion and she's telling everyone to stop being so paranoid.